Hello, hello friends. How are you doing today? I am so excited to see you here again for another day of preschool at home sing-along. So in case you're just joining us, I'm Miss V and I go live here during the crisis Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. And what we need you to do, if you haven't already done so, there's a lot of people in our class that already know the drill. Let us know where in the world you're watching from and the name of the child or the children that are watching along with you. And I'm super excited because today we are going to be doing um, a fun song that I just made up. It goes along with the book though. It's actually the book that's behind me there. I don't know if you can see it, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, but I made up a little song to go with that book and then we're going to practice our names and we're going to be climbing the tree with our letters. So, and if you're just tuning in and you want to see all of the past broadcasts that we have done during the crisis, there's more than 20 of them. Yes, I think we're coming up on 30 in the next uh, week or so. So I put a link in the description of the video for you. If you want to go back and watch any of our other sing-along songs, you can do that as well. Um, and if, teachers, if you want to go ahead and share this with your parents, you can do that. These are also uploaded to YouTube. So if you're only allowed to do that, that's totally cool too. And uh, don't forget to follow the page so that you can be notified whenever we go live. All right. Yay! Let's see who is in the house today. Ah, Kiernan, all the way from New York. Hello, Kiernan, welcome to our class. Come on in, hang up your backpack and get comfy. Huh. Let's see, Kylie is here. Hi, Kylie, I'm waving at you up north in Colorado. Hello, hello, yay. I see Savannah is here today. Hey, Savannah, welcome to our class. Come on in, hang up your backpack. Oh, I have a friend named Ruth Ann. Hello, Ruth Ann, also from New York. Hello, hello. Welcome. Ezra from Ohio loves your show. Thank you so much, Ezra. Thanks for joining us. We're glad that you're here today. Come on in, hang up your backpack, and are you ready to sing my song about Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Aha, uh -huh. wonderful. Katie is in the house today. Hey, Katie. So here's how it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing the song with you using a few of our friends' names. And then I'm going to show you what I made for you. Maybe I'll show you what I made for you first. That way, hold on, there we go. <laughs> that way you'll have some context for the song. So this song I wrote just in response to the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. If you haven't read that with your child, you're in for a real treat. Um, you can do that um, by either finding it on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and um, type in the search bar Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and you can um, watch the story there. Um, if you have that free app Vooks, I've talked about it before. It's V-O-O-K-S. Uh, you get a free month, three, a free month, free. No, that's, that's not right. You get a free month, <laughs> not a free month free. <laughs> oh goodness. And, uh, and you can watch it there with your child on your device of your choice. Um, and you might also have it, uh, if you have a library that has a digital lo uh, loaning system going on, you can also get it from there. Uh, the audio version, I heard that um, Amazon re uh, released all of their children's audio audible books for free during the crisis for the duration of the crisis. So you can also listen to it there. Um, but that is the context for our song today. So here we go. Oh, look, I made a tree. Look at that, boys and girls, I made a tree. What do you think I used to make my tree? This is a paper towel tube. So if you have paper towels in your home or any kind of cardboard tube, 
Sometimes we get things that come in tubes in the mail. Um, look around your house and see if you have a cardboard tube. And then I took some green paper and I just cut it out with my scissors. So this is the adult portion here. So you can cut out, I just use green paper. You can use whatever paper you have. You could color white paper. Whoops, it has Drew's name on it because I used it for something else earlier. I used it for the Itsy Bitsy Spider song. And um, so just cut out some le leaves, freehand it. These definitely don't look like palm leaves. I and mean, guess what? Adults, the kids don't care. And then I stuffed them down inside the tube with a piece of tape. And so they're not, it's not super sturdy. It's not going to last forever. But it is going to be a very fun activity. So I wonder what I'm going to do with this tree. Does anybody know? What do you think I might do with my tree? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to sing it first. I'm going to sing it with... Um, oh, I know. This friend of ours here, Arjun, uh, he's been coming to our class and his adult has been letting me know that he's here, but I haven't been seeing his comments when I'm live. I keep missing them, so I really apologize, Arjun. So we're going to use your name first and we're going to sing this song. Okay, so it goes like this. Five little letters climbed up a tree. The letter A said, you can't catch me. The letter R said, I can climb up high. The letter J said, I can touch the sky. The letter U said, I can climb fast. Urgh. And the letter N said, I don't want to be last. Oh my goodness. What did we spell? What did we spell, friends? Oh, sorry, you can't see the bottom. We spelled Arjun's name. All the little letters went up the tree, just like in the book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. In adults, I did use these sticker dots, but you don't need to have these. You can um, type the letters on paper, cut them out, and you can have your child glue them to the tree. I, these that I'm using here are these sticker dots from the big box store. Your local big box store has stickers like these. Um, they're called color coding labels, but us teachers like to call them learning tools. <laughs> so let's sing that one more time. Let's see if I can get all of these to come off one finger at a time. Okay. <laughs> it's like wearing fake nails. Five little letters climbed up a tree. The letter A said, you can't catch me. The letter R said, I can climb up high. The letter J said, I can touch the sky. The letter U said, I can climb fast. And the letter N said, I don't want to be last. What did we do? We spelled Arjun's name. Look at that. Thanks for being in our class, Arjun. All the way from Chicago. Wonderful. Okay. So these are some names that I selected from yesterday's video since I had to do a little prep in advance. There we go. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> there we go. Hey, there's Penny and her mom, Katie. We can't wait, Miss V. That's wonderful. We're so glad you're here. Okay. So, sometimes my comments get mixed up. There we go. Let's do another one, shall we? I'll put this one over here because we need still need, still need to do Derek's. Um, let's see. Oh, here's one. This is one from yesterday. This is Cade's name. Are you ready? I'm going to get them ready on my fingers because it goes much faster. Ooh, Luke, that's a good one. So what I did was I just took the same song and I just tweaked it a little bit for each letter. So, you know, you don't have to wait for me to make songs with your kids. You can make any songs you want, but I'm just trying to help a little bit during this um, difficult time. 
So, this one is four, right? Four letters. Whoops, sorry, you can't see. Four little letters, ready? Four little letters climbed up a tree. The letter K said, you can't catch me. The letter A said, I can climb high. The letter D said, I can touch the sky. The letter E said, watch me go. And all the little letters shouted, look out below. And then you can take them off again. So I'm not pressing them when I put them on. I'm just gently um, placing them on the tree so I can take them off again. But so I have a song for four letter names, five letter names, six letter names, and seven letter names. And of course, the longer your child's name, the longer the song, right? Okay, Cade's name is sticking to my fingers, as it should, since these are called stickers. Okay. All right. So we did one four-letter name, and we did one five-letter name. Let's do a six-letter name. Here we go. And one of the six letter names I have here for my Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree is Mabry. Are you ready? Let me get my stickers ready on my fingers. Another thing about stickers that kids love, adults, is that they are um, they're very attractive to, to young children. I think you already know that, right? <laughs> um, and so therefore, any activity you do that involves stickers, is going to be more engaging for your child. It's going to be more motivating and more fun. And that's what we're trying to do here is to make learning the letters fun for your child instead of a worksheet, right? So here is, this is the six little letters. Six little letters climbed up a tree. The letter M said, you can't catch me. The letter A said, I can climb high. Letter B said, I can touch the sky. The letter R said, I can climb fast. The letter I said, I don't want to be last. The letter E said, watch me go. And all the little letters shouted, look out below. And they all fell down from the tree. So boys and girls, if you read the story with your parents online, you will find out that the letters in the story came crashing down, right? All right, so we did Mabry. That was Mabry's name. Mabry is one of the friends in our class. So adults, you can do this at home with anybody that lives in your house because your children are motivated, right? By, um, by the folks that live in your home. Okay. Emma from Round Rock says hi. Hello, Emma. Thank you for joining us today. Let's see. Krishna is in the house. Welcome, Krishna. I'm so glad you're enjoying this song. We're so glad you're here. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how it shows me. <laughs> yes, uh, Iman. We will put the link to the YouTube in here as well. You're absolutely right. I realized after I started the live that I should have grabbed that YouTube link for you. Okay. You need the words for this, says Emily. <laughs> sure. I have a long list of songs that I've written during the crisis, and this is one of them. Um, so I will try to put that in the description of the video as well. Okay. Are we ready? There we go. So another one of our friends is... And he's been here for the last few days, but I'm not certain how to pronounce it. W-I-S-L-E-R. I'm going to say Weisler. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments if, if Weisler's adult is here. <clears throat> and I'll do my best to say it properly because that is 
the best way to do it. Hey, where, oh, there we go. There's his other letters. All right, look, this is my Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree with the green leaves. And we are gonna sing this song for Weisler. Ready? Six little ladders climbed up a tree. Letter W said, you can't catch me. Letter I said, I can climb high. Letter S said, I can touch the sky. Letter L said, hold on, I can climb fast. <laughs> Letter E said, I don't want to be last. Letter R said, watch me go. And all the little letters shouted, look out below. And all the little letters shouted, look out below, because what happened, friends? Yes, in the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom story, all the little letters fall down out of the tree because they were climbing it, right? Yes. They were being naughty. Okay, we did Mabry. There we go. All right, and now let's see. <clears throat> Javier from North Carolina says, hello, 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 Javier, or Xavier, depending on how you say it. Um, I've lived in Texas too long, so that's why I say Javier. All right. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Lumna says she loves this name activity. I'm so glad you like it. Children love it. Okay. Um, the next one. Oh, I think I'm going to do a four letters. <clears throat> so I need to do a four letter name. And so I'm going to do Shay and Lexi. Shay has been here with his brother, Tommy. Um, for the last while, the last few sessions. So I want to make sure I get some of our new friends in there. Excuse me. <clears throat> so four, oops, I need to get all of Shay's letters. It's easier when I do it this way. Right, Miss B? Because little kids don't have long attention spans. Four little letters climbed up the tree. Letter S said, you can't catch me. Letter H said, I can climb up high. Letter E said, I can touch the sky. Letter A said, watch me go. And all the little letters shouted, look out below. What happened? They all came down, didn't they? They were being naughty and climbing that palm tree, the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree, right? That's a fantastic book, adults. If you can get your hands on it and sing this song and have your ch sing this song after you read it to your children, so that will give them some context as to why you're using the tree, right? Otherwise, they won't know why you're using it but it's gonna make it much more fun to learn their letters than any old worksheet ever could. Here's Lexi's name. She also has four letters. Four little letters climbed up a tree. The letter L said, you can't catch me. The letter E said, I can climb up high. The letter X said, I can touch the sky. The letter I said, watch me go. And all the little letters shouted, look out below. <laughs> and they all came cr crashing down, right? Yes, they did. Oh, I'm so glad you liked this song. One of the phrases we use to describe songs like this is uh, piggyback songs. Although I don't know what the tune is for this one. It's when you take a familiar song and you put new words to it. Um, although I, I think the, the tune I'm using is the Five Little Ducks tune, but I don't know if the Five Little Ducks is also a piggyback song, but whatever. All right, now let's do Derek. I got Derek's name out. And Derek has, let's count Derek's letters. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Derek. Derek comes to our class every day. And so we're going to sing Derek's song, Derek's name song, right? 
Okay, and I'll come back and get Derek's. There we go. Ah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There's five letters in Derek's name. We're going to sing the five little letter song. Five little letters climbed up the tree. The letter D said, you can't catch me. The letter E said, I can climb up high. The letter R said, I can touch the sky. The letter E said, I can climb fast. Oops. And the letter K said, I don't want to be last. Ah, how many letters does Derek have? One, two, three, four, and five. Five. He has five letters. So super fun activity for your kids, adults. And you again, you don't need to have the sticker dots. You could totally do this just using paper and a marker. And then you can um, glue the letters on as you go or however you want to do it. Oh, and you know what? I don't know if somebody has said this yet. I haven't looked at the comments in the last minute, but... Um, Post-it notes. Do you have post-it notes you could cut into strips? That would totally work with this, you guys. If you have post-it notes at home, that would be awesome. Okay, so here is my Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree. It's green paper that I cut with my scissors and I stuck it down inside the top of the tube and I taped it. And then this is the cardboard tube on the bottom. That's my tree. So now we're gonna do Ruby. Ready? And Ruby has five letters because they have one letter on each finger and I have five fingers, right? So, five little letters climbed up a tree. The letter R said, you can't catch me. The letter U said, I can climb up high. The letter B said, I can touch the sky. The letter I said, I can climb fast. Ah! And the letter E said, I don't want to be last. <laughs> uh, I should fix Ruby's I. It should be the uppercase I if these are all other uppercase letters. There we go. So again, I just used a marker and I wrote the letters of the names of the child's name on stickers. And then I took a cardboard tube and some green paper and you've got hours of fun. So, super fun. All right, let me turn it around. Turn it back. Oops, there we go. <laughs> so I hope you liked that little name activity. And it's just, it's so important for you as adults to understand that young children learn through play. They don't learn through flat worksheets. And it hurts my teacher heart to see all of my Facebook friends and people on Facebook um, buying uh, workbooks and preschool systems, you know, to teach their child since preschool is not in session right now uh, as our um, K-12 schools. And, um, and you're fighting a losing battle there. So what we want to do is we want to ha get children having fun. And they don't even know that they're learning when they do it. It's like putting the veggies in their mac and cheese, right? And when children engage in fun, hands-on activities like the one I just showed you or any of the other 20 plus uh, sing-along videos that we've done so far, there are many, many educational benefits. Um, they're rhyming, right? The song I just sang had lots of rhyming opportunity in it. And research has proven beyond a doubt that young children who can rhyme and have lots of exposure to rhyming become better readers. There's a direct correlation between rhyming and reading success later. And this song definitely provides lots of opportunities for rhyming. Another thing this song provides is the supportive structure for uh, developing oral language skills. Those are speaking and listening skills, and young children need to have a good vocabulary in order to become better readers. And when we sing songs like this with our children, 
uh, we're providing a supportive structure and framework for that language to happen because there's language that we that we use with our children informally, right? And then there's school language that they use in the classroom with the teacher. And then there's structured language or patterns that take place in songs. And then, of course, engagement is key. When it comes to teaching young children anything, we want to engage their eyes, their ears, their mouths, and their hands, and sometimes even their whole body. When all of those things are engaged, we see a huge decrease in behavior issues because children are playing. That is the natural way that they learn. So that's why I am devoting myself to these daily preschool at home sing-alongs during the crisis because it's so very important that our young children that are home with us right now have fun, playful experiences for learning. Um, oh, Lonan, you're here. We were worried about you. I almost got your name ready. I almost got your name ready. But that's okay because your adult can play this with you at home. Um, let's see. We're making letter blocks in a name puzzle. Oh, we will make the tree later. That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yes, a paper. Hey, Mia Yanis is here too. Hello, Mia Yanis. Are your cousins here with you today? Yes, Mia Yanis and her cousins come to our class every day. Yes, I almost got your name too ready. Uh, your name ready too, Mia Yanis. But my songs only go up to seven letters, so I was going to have to do three letter song for Mia and then the seven letter song for Yanis because I have seven letters in my name too, in the second part of your name. Okay, enough about me, enough about me, enough about Miss V. Um, why can't I get there? Yeah, <laughs> all right. So for those of you who tuned in today, I wanna thank you for watching. And if you know any other um, adults who have young children at home with them, whether they're grandparents, caregivers, or our parents, go ahead and let them know about, if you found this video helpful, let them know about it by sharing or tagging. Um, and don't forget to follow our page so that you'll be notified whenever we go live. Until next time, I'm Miss V from Pre-K Pages. I hope you have fun singing and learning with your kids. Bye.